Shares of Korea's Hanmi pharmaceutical company continued to plummet as the nation's financial authorities launched a probe into whether the company's delay in announcing the termination in an exclusive partnership agreement on lung cancer treatment drug with Beringer Ingelheim had been intentional. Now, also under scrutiny is whether employees have profited in any way through the, uh, through the access of the insider information. Our Kim Min Ji has the latest. Shares of Hemi Pharmaceutical extended their losses for a second day, closing down over 7 percent on Tuesday. The company has been under fire for releasing news both good and bad that caused its share price to fluctuate widely, shooting up one minute and plunging not long after. After the markets closed last Thursday, Hanmi announced that it had signed a 910 million U.S. dollar contract with Genentech to license an anti-cancer treatment, and shares jumped 4 percent at Friday's open. The company later announced the termination of its contract with Germany's Beringer Ingelheim, causing shares to tumble more than 18 percent by the end of the day. With that, trader short-selling shares of Hami Pharmaceutical are estimated to have made profits of over 20 percent. Shares of Hami Pharmaceutical fluctuated by as much as 23 percent on Friday, meaning short-selling traders could have made profits of roughly $135 per share. Short selling refers to the sale of a security not owned by the seller or that the seller has borrowed. If the share price declines, the security can be bought back at a lower price for a profit. Another question is whether the company informs certain investors about the negative news to come, potentially giving them time to unload their shares. In Korea, listed firms are required to make new announcements or corrections using a system run by the Financial Supervisory Service. Korea exchange officials then review the information and approve disclosures. However, Hanmi Pharmaceutical didn't disclose information about the Beringer Ingelheim deal right away and instead waited until the next morning. The company has apologized for the delay, saying it put the announcement off so that it wouldn't cause confusion with regard to the disclosure about the earlier Genentech deal. Financial authorities have launched a joint probe into Hanmi to see whether it violated the rules for fair disclosure. In separate news, the nation's drug ministry upheld its approval of a controversial lung cancer treatment for terminally ill patients, providing a glint of light for the scandal-hit company. The ministry said the treatment provides an option for these patients who have no alternative. Han May had received approval for the treatment in May, but the drug was found to cause serious side effects during clinical tests.